I thought I'd follow up my last vlog with a quick vlog. And today I have on a blue shirt, my James Dean t-shirt, and a sweater. <clears throat> yes, a cardigan-like sweater, which I haven't been wearing. But since I'm trying to get ready for spring, I have taken some of the spring sweaters out. And uh, it's got navy blue, like this is navy blue. I do like blue. I like blue. Do you like blue? <laughs> Azure, cobalt, and navy too. Anyway, um, anyway, so I just wanted to follow up on that vlog. I know the kitchen is still not spotless, which is what I want it to be. I want it to be spotless. And I did I did clean the kitchen floors. I don't know how to clean the inside of the, between the, the two glass pieces on the oven. I don't know how to clean that. And um, more things need to go into storage. We don't have that much storage. We have so much stuff, but not enough storage. You should have seen the amount of stuff that came out of the armoires. Well, the armoires in the in the uh, addition where I'm going to put my sewing room and everything. I still haven't been able to get the chair in. And that's the key piece. Once I get the chair in, I'll be able to set up the entire room. And, <clears throat> but uh, you should have seen all the stuff that came out of the armoires. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. All the, we have so much stuff and not enough room to store it all. So, I don't know. And then my men said that no one was allowed to take our stuff, but we put it on the tree lawn and people took it. And they had to give it back. Okay? We got everything back. Nothing was taken. Okay? Nothing was taken. They had to give everything back. Oh, okay. Um, and then... Uh, so, I just wanted to mention also that the in the blue bowl with the red uh with the red lidded containers those containers usually have walnuts in them that's why they're usually missing or they're not all there because i put walnuts in them for my mother so she can just snack during the day and um i read and was told that walnuts were a good snack for someone with diabetes and that's true walnuts are a very very good snack but you can't overdo it okay so you can't overdo it and my mother overdoes it so i'm gonna have to monitor that <clears throat> and uh i tried to read the name on the blue glasses but I don't know what that name is. I can't figure it out. And we will help you figure it out. Those are very, very, very high quality glasses and are worth a lot of money. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't, I can't figure it out. So, and it's, they're numbered too. They are numbered. And, uh, and so that's it about the kitchen for right now. It's just, oh, one more disclaimer. The kitchen was, uh, the kitchen was put together by my mother and her ex-roommate, and her old roommate who passed away, and I had nothing to do with the tiles on the wall or the flooring or anything, or even the kitchen table. I just put something on the kitchen table so that it would match the room and those chairs are super comfortable so we have four of them so i put three at that table and the one i showed you was on the back of it on the back of the chair 
is uh, is starting to show deterioration, but I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, I'm not getting rid of those chairs. They're really comfortable, and they're very, very, very high quality, and they're very expensive. That is vintage. It's vintage. Okay, and so. Okay, so that's enough about the kitchen. And I can only do one more thing. I can only work with what's there. That's all I can do. I can't really, I don't have the money to redo the kitchen the way I would do it. And, and I, okay, we're not going to let you say how you would redo the kitchen. Well, I, I don't have the money for that. And plus, it's my mother's house. And I want things to still be familiar for her. So, all I did was add stuff. That's all I can do really is add, subtract a few things, and add some things. <clears throat> That's what I can do. And I, uh, you saw the, the dining room table has some Christmas stuff on it. And that's because it was in the box with the Christmas tree that went upstairs. But I guess the movers took those things out of the box and just set them on the table. Or my mother did because she was sitting at the table. It is very difficult sometimes to be patient with someone who constantly touches everything and moves things around. And, you know, I, uh, I actually found uh, a jewelry set that I made in 2017 it, with the with the little tag on it that says M jewelry by Marissa, and I said, "Oh, this is the last one I have with, with the little tag on it. I'll save it." But I wasn't thinking; I left it out, and so it it's moved somewhere in this house, and I don't know where. And you'll find it; you'll get it back. Yes, it's moved. So she was sleeping in the bed, and I left it on the nightstand. So. Is I have to find it. And, uh, so anyway, uh, I really don't have much to talk about that I prepared. Uh, I have my American Eagle hat on again. I found it and I like it. It's more of a summery, well, well, it's it's more it's better than a winter hat when it's a little bit warmer but today it was cold so i could have gotten away with a winter hat and there's so much laundry that needs to be folded and done and all that we were out of laundry detergent and someone has to buy it for us because we had an agreement and it took a while for that person to get the laundry detergent to us. He had it, but it took a while. So now I have the laundry detergent and I'm ready to go again to wash the clothes and finish up the laundry. Yep. Yep. And I put a table down there. We had a table for folding and I moved it out to the garage and oh, that was a mistake because it was it was very helpful to have that table there. And so it was too heavy. I moved it. I don't know how I moved it because it was very heavy, but it's very heavy and I don't want to take the chance of falling down the steps. And that is very wise. That's very wise. So I put a folding table in there. So and now and now I have another fold, a t another a, a folding table with the legs that fold out. And now I have another table to fold upon which I can fold clothes. So that's that. And uh, I, the mechanic of my car, my mother's car is broken. And the mechanic is going to come tomorrow to take a look at it. And hopefully, hopefully, it won't be too expensive of a repair and uh, the car can be repaired. I don't know.
we'll see. We'll see. You know, I really have good reason not to believe my men. And you do have good reason, but we are telling you the truth about everything. Okay. I have very good reason not to believe them. My, my mother has so many bathing suits. She used to go swimming all the time. And some of them are very nice now and vintage. Like from the 80s or 80s was the high point when she went swimming. Because she had a membership to a health club. And they had a swimming pool there. And she has so many bathing suits. She wasn't really a big fan of the beach. She, she's never been a big fan of the beach. I mean, she likes to go, but she doesn't like to sit in the sun. or the. She's very sensitive to the sun. She's very, very sensitive. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my COVID-19 check. I'll, well, I know I'm going to put a lot of it in savings. Because this time around, I don't really need much. So, and I'm going to give some to my mother. And, uh, yeah, I don't really need much this time around. So, we'll see where it all, what I end up doing with the money, you know. We'll see what I end up doing with the money. And, uh, I don't know. I really... I just want this whole COVID-19 thing to be over and done with. And we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. But there are so many people who are grieving. Yeah. And you know, there is that organization that helps people who are grieving. And people know about that organization and they get phone calls every day. Many, many phone calls. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. What a horrible thing to do to humanity. What a horrible, horrible thing. It's so horrible. It's just so horrible. It's cruel. If it is, and it is, it's a curse from China. And it's cruel and heartless and just like left wing, New World Order left wing liberals are. Cruel and heartless. Cruel and heartless. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if you lost a loved one. I'm very, very sorry about that. I know a few people who passed away because of the COVID-19 virus. I mean, il pan illness. Okay. They passed away. I know a few people who did. And it's so sad. It's so sad. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I just, I wish that uh, this would never have happened. And, but it's too late now. And we're seeing the light at the, at the end of the tunnel. But there are so many people who lost loved ones. It's so sad. It's so very sad. All right. Well, I don't want to end on a sad note. So I'm going to say I'm sorry. And I'm going to say a quick prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, please help those whose family uh, 
members or loved ones of any kind, like friends or anything, passed away during the pandemic. Co-workers, friends, neighbors, family members, please help them. Please help them to grieve properly so that they can get through it and come out on the other side stronger. Amen. And please help them to reach for you for help and grieving. And please help them to reach to that organization if it works. And it does. Okay. Or help them to, to reach for that organization for help. Or reach out to anyone for help. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Well, I don't even have anything else to say right now because of that. So I'm going to end this vlog now. And I'm going to say I hope you have a good day tomorrow and things go your way. All right, bye.